Uh, a couple of days ago, somebody asked me to do a tutorial about kicking in Game Maker Studio 2. And uh, I did, and I checked the footage, and it's not there. I recorded the video, but it didn't record. All right. So, I'm going to record this again. So, let me show you what I did uh, during the video. It's nothing fancy, it's just basically a double dragon guy kicking. You uh, walk around and you can press spacebar and he can kick. It's pretty much a melee attack uh, tutorial. Okay, I'm just going to make it uh, extremely simple. I'm actually using the previous uh, tutorial about uh, looking at the player. Now, if you speed up the animation, he can probably kick faster. Here are the sprites I'm using. Okay. You need to walk in there. And I got an idle animation. And here is my kicking animation. I got this sprites from the like, internet. I don't know who extracted them. I think the name is here somewhere. Yeah, don't use those commercially, you might get in trouble. <laughs> All right, so let me show you what we're going to do. Uh, it's actually quite simple. This is the uh, this is the three states that we're gonna use. Idle equals zero, walking equals zero, and kicking equals zero. Um, that would be the correct way to do it. Okay, so let me show you the lazy way to do this. Of course, it's me. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna backtrack here. So what I did. And uh, let me just um, see what I did. Okay, uh, I created a variable. Okay, and I call it a BB for some reason. I got a step event. And I have, um, I'm drawing the um, variable on the screen. Pushing left adds one to B. Pushing right adds one to B as well. And if you press spacebar, um, we, um, are basically playing the animation. Okay, and then we set BP back to three. So I'm going to reset this and uh, we are going to get started. Um, it's basically just a sprite. You can move back and forth. Okay. You can see that the um, walking animation doesn't stop. And that's because we haven't done anything. Okay, so let's get started, okay? Um, now drag and drop. Now, drag and drop will put you at the same level as um, Sean Spalding and Harbeast. Okay, maybe not, but it will bring you one step closer towards their awesome skills. Let me just show you the room here. Here is the room. You don't actually need this, but uh, we're going to leave it there. Here is my sprite. You can see that this is just a sprite, and um, I changed it from the red uh, box to uh, to this walking sprite. There we go. I mean, you could easily just start it with the um, uh, idle sprite, which is probably what we should do. Now, if you don't have this file, uh, just check out the previous tutorial to be able to um, do this. Actually, I was just using a box for this tutorial. Um, let me just show you. You can replace this for this box. This was the original tutorial for this. It was just a box. Okay. Yeah, check out the previous video. It will show you how to do this. It's quite simple. It's actually just two lines. Just this here. So, we are going to um, uh, to get started, okay. So let's add a new event and let's add a uh, create event so we can create some variables, okay. Now I call the variable BB for some reason. So let's call it, um, I don't know, HH this time, just so we have some variation. So there is a variable set to zero. We're gonna go to um, uh, when you press uh, the left key. We want to set a variable to one. Okay. Set H H to one. We also want to um, 
uh, change our sprite. Okay. Just find a uh, set sprite on your uh, menu here. Is there somewhere? I already have it here on my recently used uh, commands. So it's just going to be um, change animation to walking. Let's run this. And I'm going to press left. Okay, sort of like place is um, walking animation. It shouldn't work properly yet. So let's do it for the right. Uh, we also want to do the same thing. I want to change the um, variable h h to one. Okay. And uh, let's run this to see what happens. Probably nothing. Okay. That is a walking animation. So now when we're not pressing, so now when we left, so now uh, when we start pressing the left key, key up left, we want to set uh, the variable back to zero. We want to do the same thing for the um, other variable. Okay. If we start pressing the right key, we want to set this variable back to zero. Okay. So let me display the variable. Add event. Display GUI. And uh, we want to display text. This is good for um, debugging. So we're gonna display HH at uh, 200 on the X and maybe 100 on the Y. There we go. You can see that um, that variable returns to, to zero when I start pressing the keys. Okay, super simple. So, um, let me uh, back to this. So that turns uh, that returns back to zero. So let's close this. So now on the left, we can probably play um, the uh, walking animation. So on the right, um, at the bottom, we want to play the um, walking animation. Set sprite to walk in. Okay. Do the same thing for the left. It looks like I already left the walk in there from the previous um, example, but that's okay. So let me just delete it. So we still do it. It's always good to always do it. Okay. Set the uh, animation to walk in. And when we start pressing the um, the left key, we also want to do the same thing. We want to do the opposite. We want to set the um, the animation to idle. We want to do the same thing for when we left let go the uh, up key, uh, the right key. Okay, so just uh, change this to idle animation. So we're changing the variable to zero and we're setting the animation uh, back to idle. See if it works. Walk. Okay, it's not working. <laughs> Why is it not working? Okay. The reason is because um, I think we have to set this to relative. Okay. I gotta do the same thing for. Um, I don't know why you have to click that, but that's how it works. So that's how you have to do it. I don't question this stuff. I just do it. Okay. Let me do the same thing for the uh, left and right. Click on the relative button. I forgot to click that checkbox. I don't know why. And now watch what happens. And now it just magically works. Okay.
Now, if you're wondering why your animation is not working, that's because you haven't checked on that checkbox. Okay. So now all we have to do is um, make it so when we press um, the space bar, we can change the animation to kicking. That is extremely simple to do. So all you have to do is uh, go add event. Uh, add event. Press the buttons. If you press the um, uh, space bar, okay, then you simply change the animation to kicking. Okay. Uh, you probably want to change the variable too, so the other animations are not going to interrupt you. So HH, set it to, I don't know, 3 or something. Here we go, let's play it. Walk around. And now let's press spacebar. There we go. Now we have one little problem. Uh, you notice that I'm not actually pushing... Uh, the um, space bar and he won't stop kicking okay he would if I walk around okay but um, yeah that's not what we want we are getting closer though so now we just need to be able to tell the um, game maker that when the uh, kicking animation is over we want to return to um, uh, the idle animation Okay, so I guess we can do that in the step events. Okay, I don't know that if statement. Here. And uh, I don't know that if f statement. Okay. So if, uh, say for example, um, um, our variable hh, it's um, greater than, say, 2. Okay, that will make it 3. Okay. So in that case, we can throw another if statement. An if statement inside of an if statement. Okay. So in that case, we want to um, if our um, uh, image uh, image index is greater than. Uh, let me see how many frames we got here for. How many frames we have for the kicking? We have uh, seven frames, so I guess if it's greater than uh, the seven frames. Okay, so if it's greater than six, okay, we can return to uh, the idle animation. Okay, step event. Space is a bit confined here because I'm recording this at a very low resolution. Just for the sake of this tutorial. Okay, so if the image index is greater than uh, say six, we said right. Okay, then we want to change the animation back to idle animation. Relative. Click on click on the relative key checkbox otherwise um, otherwise it's not going to work okay so here it is we can probably kick this guy here hey how you doing would you like to be kicked today there you go so now I'm not going to press the um, uh, space bar and he's not going to kick kick probably make that animation a bit faster it's kind of slow. Set that to 10, I guess. Preview it. Whoa, that's fast. Holy macro. That's a little too fast. Maybe like 6. That seems more natural. Like a normal kick. There we go. And let's walk up to the, uh, the green box. And let's kick it. <laughs> we have one little problem right now, and that is our. Um, I didn't change. I didn't change the um, hotspot. That's kind of weird. Okay, so let me. Oh, it's. I did change it. So let me just center it, and let's kick that green box. Green boxes love to be kicked. There you go. Kick. 
and it works. You can walk around. So you could filter filter this out. So like if I right now if I click and if I'm in the middle of, of um, kicking, you can uh, almost freeze the animation there like that because uh, you shouldn't be able to kick while the animation kicking is playing. So to fix that, you could simply um, throw a filter here. Uh, so if you press spacebar, uh, you could only uh, kick if um, say H H is not three, which I'll, I'll show you how to do that quickly just before I end this tutorial. And then I'm gonna get back to Fortnite. I'm addicted to that game now. So uh, I guess you could throw an if statement. Actually, let me just um, throw it on top of this. Okay, sounds like you gotta keep stocking and stuff. Um, so if uh, H H is not uh, three, okay, it's not equal three, then you can change the animation to kicking. Oops, let me just. I can just probably just drag this here. Yes, you can. Look at that stuff. So um, you can probably drag this in here too. Okay, we don't, you don't want to set this to three if this is already three. Okay, so that should prevent us from um, kicking while he's already kicking. Okay, let's try it out. Okay, then that works fine. So except for the, the <laughs> except for he only does it once. Yeah, he should be able to do it again. Um, and the reason for that is. Um, when he's done the uh, animation kicking, let me go back to um, step event. This is completely um, uh, unrehearsed, guys. I'm just making this up. As, as uh, let's see here, when the animation is finished, we want to set the um, that variable also back to um, H H. Set it back to zero. That should fix our problem there. It's not a problem. It's just we just forgot to reset the variable. There we go. Kick again. Kick again. And you can kick as many times as you like until your thumb hurts. Okay. Kick the other side. Yeah. All right, guys. If uh, game development is your thing, make sure you subscribe. And um, yeah, join our notification squad. Okay, that's cheesy. Just guys, just okay, guys. Just press the uh, the bell next to the subscribe button, so so you get updates when new videos are released. Okay, guys, smack the like button, and I will see you in the next video. Bye now.